uh, uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is a small presentation about the description of uh, 138 by 13.8 kV outdoor substation. In a previous video, we described an indoor substation that steps down the voltage from 33 kV to 11 kV. We have seen some of the features of indoor substations. Uh, today we'll try to uh, see another type of substation, which is an outdoor substation. And also the voltage levels are different. Here it goes from 138 kV, step it down, this is like a transmission level, voltage level, into 13.8 kV, which is the primary voltage level in the distribution system. So to start with a single line diagram of the substation, uh, this is the uh, 138 kV uh, bus, this is the one. Okay, and here we, we can see there are two incomers, one from this side and one from that side. So the substations are fed from two different sides. And that is usually the case. You are more than one side uh, and this will give you more flexibility. You can have the power coming from both of them or it could coming from one of them. So usually you have more than one feeder to feed the substation with the primary voltage of the substation, which is the 138 kV volt. Now, this is the output of the substation, the 13.8 kV volt, and always the output will be connected to the transformers. The transformers are basically the ones that will step down the voltage from the 138 kV volt to the 13.8 kilo, kilo volt. Now, there is something very important in the substation, which is the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker are there to interrupt the power, either manually if you want, or automatically if there is a fault. And you can see here for every incomer, there is a circuit breaker. For every uh, incomer, there is a circuit breaker. And also, between these two sides of the substation, there is a circuit breaker and also there is a switch. This is will give you a flexibility to connect the substation with each other or to isolate part of the substation in case of maintenance. Sometimes you need to isolate part of the substation, shut it down to do some certain maintenance. So you have to have the flexibility to do that. Now, what I will do, I will zoom at different parts of the substation, and I will show you the photo of the actual component, how it looks like, and we'll give some description about it. So let's start from the circuit uh, uh, breaker. So this circuit breaker, as you can see here, it is connecting two different parts of the substation together. So this is the, this is the circuit breaker. That is exactly this one that connect the these two parts of the substation. You can see here there is power coming either coming from this side or from that side. So it's between two sides of the of the substation. Now you see here there is a switch here connected with the with the uh, the circuit breaker, and we'll have a closer look to these switches. But these are the switches here. It's called isolator. Okay, so why we need those isolators? We need those isolators uh, whenever we want to do a main maintenance to the breaker. Now the breaker has a switch will open, okay? But if I just open the breaker, still there is some power can come from this side and power can come from that side. So still the, the breaker is live even if you disconnect it from, from the switch. So you have to isolate the breaker. So you have switches or isolators from both sides. So once you open the breaker, then you open these two switches, which are usually, we open them when the system is at offline, not at online. They are not meant to interrupt fault current or interrupt high current. So then the breaker become completely isolated. So when open these switches from both sides, then the, the breaker will, will not have any power coming to it, then you can do any maintenance on that breaker. Now, this breaker is uh, called a DID tank. Now, in the DID tank circuit breaker, uh, there is, you can see these two, these donuts, this is the current transformers. So the current transformers are basically installed 
on the on the bushing of the breaker to measure the current because this is something very important for the circuit breaker. Uh, the breaker has to be able to tell if the current exceeds certain value, if there's a fault, to interrupt. So you have to have the current measurement there at the breaker. Uh, the switching is happening in this compartment, which is filled with SF6. Now we will see another type of breaker, call it live tank breaker. We'll talk about that when we uh, we come to that. Now this is a closer look for the switches, for the isolators. Now we see too many isolators everywhere here to disconnect any components you have to have an isolator so this isolator basically uh, the conduction is having here now this will be opened the switch will be open to this uh, interrupt the circuit and here there is the this is the grounding end and in between there is an insulation this one looks like made from silicon rubber Polymer. It could be ceramic or it could be uh, silicon rubber. The insulation to isolate the high voltage from the from the grounded end. Now we have another breaker, the one that is uh, feeding the substation, and these breakers. Uh, th this is the one that I will call. Uh, we, we, it's called live tank. Now there are two major difference between the live tank and the dead tank. The live tank first, the interruption happens inside the bushings. So the, 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 these bushings are filled with SF6 and the, the circuit breaker action is taken care here. The second you can see at the back of each uh, uh, phase of the breaker is the current transformer. In the previous one, we have the current transformers installed on the circuit breaker itself. Here, in this type of circuit breakers, the current transformer basically is connected. Is we have an additional current transformer added, and I, we said that this is something very very important to measure the current continuously. Then we have the transformer. Transformer is one of the main components in the substation to do the step down of the of the uh, voltage. So this is how the transformer look like. Now I will just mention a few things. Now you can see here there is the bushing and parallel to bushing we have the uh, the surge arrestor. Okay, we have like two. One of them is the bushing. The other one is the surge arrestor. The surge arrestor basically is to uh, protect the transformer against any against any lightning or switching events. Okay. Now this is what we call the conservator when the Oil is heated, will go up there, and then it will come, come back. Now, you see here, I will just write it down here, 18 by 24 by 30 MVA. This is the power rating of the transformer. But why we have three different values? Because the transformer, uh, actually, you can increase its rating if you turn, uh, uh, turn on the fans. So here you have fans here. These fans, when you switch them on, you can increase the capacity of the transformer because basically the transformer, the, whenever, whenever there's a current, there is heat. So there is a limit. This is what one of the limits of the transformer. You cannot increase the loading at certain value. Otherwise, the transformer will be overheated and the insulation will be aging very, very fast. So to avoid this, we turn on the fans, once you turn on the fans, then the transformer can accept more, more loading. This is why you see, you can see here for those transformers that you have multiple uh, type or multiple uh, ratings. And transformer without fans, we call them ONAN, means oil natural, air natural, the flow of oil inside the tank and the air around the transformers is natural meaning that there is no forcing. You are not trying to enforce anything here. It's all happening naturally. But this type of transformer is called UNAF. The oil natural, the oil will actually circulate naturally, but the air is forced. So this is called oil natural air forced. So here the air is forced. Now this transformer can be UNAF, Okay, and that will be usually the smallest rating in the transformer. So you don't need to turn on your uh, your fans, but if you need, 
then you'll go to the from onan to onaf to turn on the fans and uh, make the air circulating much in a much better way so that you can add more loading to the transformer we have two different types here of the trans you have three transformer this transformer and this are identical and this one transformer has a higher rating 30 40 and 50 mva and this is the this is the transformer and basically component wise they look the same but this would be like a bigger size because it has higher higher rating now this pt which is potential transformer. This is very important to measure the voltages in the substation. We need to measure the current. We have seen the current transformer, and this is PT to measure the uh, the voltage in the at that bus and how this is how the PT looks like. It's a three phase, of course. So it basically it reduces the voltage to a level that can be measured using some instrumentations. And finally here, since this is an outdoor substation, all the conductors that come into the substation, it has to be supported. So you have to have a string insulators or you have to have post insulators. So these are some string insulators. This is a closer look to these insulators, uh, basically cap and pin insulators. And these are basically post insulators. And all of them, uh, they look like uh, basically ceramic insulators, porcelain. Okay, so this basically to just hold the conductors around the the uh, the substation. And now, finally, this is the final thing I'd like to mention. You can see this road. This basically to protect the substation against lightning. Uh, this is an outdoor substation, so lightning tends to hit the tallest point in a structure. So we have those ro roads intentionally so that if there's any lightning, we are sort of directing the lightning uh, waves or the lightning wave waveforms or surge through those roads to the ground to save or to save all or protect all uh, components in that uh, substation. So that's a very short description of a 138 by 13.8 kV substation.